Should the Dallas Cowboys fear Danny Dimes, Daniel Jones, and our New York Giants, Big Blue, in the NFC East? Let's hear what the Speak for Yourself crew thinks about this topic, and I'm going to chime in, and I'm going to let you know what I think. Let's get it. What's going on YouTube? What's going on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all platforms? You know what it is. This is Big Pass Sports Talk. You know I'm gonna talk my talk no matter what anybody thought. And welcome back to another Big Pass Sports Talk reactions. Another episode, man. We're gonna get into this topic today. Sid the Cowboys fear Daniel Jones and the New York Giants out in the NFC East. Can my G-Man finally get that NFC East crown back where it belongs? We're going to be listening to Mr. Acho. Shout out to Greg Jennings, Packers great receiver. And you know we're going to be listening to Mr. Marcellus Wiley, former Pro Bowl defensive end for the Bills and the Chargers. So let's get into it, man. Let's hear what these what these guys have to say about my New York Giants. And I'm going to chime in and let you know what I think. Let's get it. He's back. The Cowboys fear Daniel Jones' Giants in a season. They should, big dog, because they're the polar opposite of the Cowboys. When you think about the Cowboys, you think about Flash. You think about Ames, Dak Prescott, Amari Cooper, Sidney <clears throat> Lamb, Jalen Smith. You think about the glitz, the glamour, of new stadiums. You think about the cheerleaders. You think about all that. But the Giants, you don't think about all that now. The Giants are just a tough, blue-collar, hard-nosed name with maybe one superstar in Saquon, but he didn't play all last year, so we still need to be reminded of his superstar. The Giants are just a gritty, tough team. And the pro That's exactly what we are, Mr. Acho. We are gritty and tough. We're taking a, on the personality of our coach, Mr. Joe Judge, man. He's brought in a different different mindset for our team, man. He's, like I say, he brought the best thing for us. The best thing that we needed was a culture change. We have a, a, a huge culture change in our building, man. We're a tough, gritty team. We're going to play our hardest. We're going to punch you in the mouth. And we're going to come at you regardless of your stature, regardless of the team, regardless of the flash. It doesn't matter if it was the Buccaneers last year. We gave them one of their hardest games last year. Doesn't matter who you are, man. We're coming at you, man. We're coming at you strong. We're coming at you with a game plan. And we have teachers in the building now. So, yeah, we, we deserve to be feared over in the NFC East, especially what we did this offseason. I mean, uh, let's say if we draft Devontae Smith or Jalen Waddle in the first round, I believe our weapons are just as good as the Cowboys uh, in the NFC East. Unless they pick up someone like uh, uh, Kyle Pitts in the first round, I don't believe he's going to make it to number 10. But I believe we, we go hand-in-hand hand with the, the with the Cowboys. I believe we're better than the Cowboys. Believe it or not, we should have beat them twice last year. If it wasn't for the reps that first game, we would have beat them twice. You know, they took almost three touchdowns away from us in that first game. And then we beat them the second game. I don't care if Dak Prescott is coming back. We know how to play Dak Prescott. And I think we're going to beat them twice this year. But... All here is hearsay. We can't wait to strap them up and play y'all boys this year. I believe we're a better team. I believe we're a better coach team. I believe we're a tougher team. I believe we're a more disciplined team. As long as Daniel Jones shows up, the sky's the limit for us, man. For real. The problem is, when the flash and dash meets the grit, the grit can often prevail. The Giants were better than the Cowboys last year. Bear in mind, Daniel Jones played last year, but he played terribly. Mm -hmm. Exactly, and we were still better than you guys. It literally couldn't get worse. 30th in passer rating, 31st in completion percentage. So no Dak Prescott didn't play, but if the Giants were already better than the Cowboys last year, and the Giants quarterback can literally only get better because he quite literally cannot get worse, then yeah, something for the Cowboys to worry about. The Giants are a team that plays tough. 
knows how to play, and they're learning how to win. If they figure that out this year, that spells trouble once again. Okay. Exactly. We're learning how to win, folks. Believe it or not, man, most of our victories were straight grit. And most of our losses, we weren't blown out. We were probably blown out in three games last year. The Ravens, the Cardinals, and the 49ers. Other than that, man, we were in most of those games. And maybe the Browns. Other than that, we were in most of those games. Joe Judge has brought a different mindset to this team. We're stronger. We're better. We're playing faster. We're playing smarter. We're playing with more grit. We actually believe we can win now. And that's the way I see us, see us playing this year. As long as Daniel Jones progresses, as long as he's playing like that second half of the uh, video of my evaluation of Daniel Jones, as long as he plays like he was playing the second half of that video, I can see us winning 10 to 11 games this upcoming year. I don't know, Big Blue. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Uh, I disagree. Disagree, not totally, but for me, man, I was. I was and Greg Jennings always disses us, man. He 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 rarely gives us credit, but hey, still like the guy, man. One of the best receivers the Packers have ever had. Was taught to respect all, fear none. Not fear someone. And the Cowboys, the Cowboys are not gonna fear the Giants. Look, you just said it. Daniel Jones was terrible last year. Mm. The Cowboys had a worse record, but they didn't have their quarterback. Mm. Now they have their quarterback back under center. He's going to lead this team, and he's not fearing the, the the Giants. He will respect his opponent, but the Cowboys feel like they have a better team. Now the Giants, in my opinion, have made some outstanding moves. They have definitely improved. They're going to be better offensively. And Daniel Jones, to your point, Acho, I believe he has to be better because you get Saquon Barkley back. You add a Kenny Galladay, Nate Solder coming back off of the opt-out season. And so you got pieces that are going to make him more comfortable, which ultimately you would think he should be a better quarterback. Exactly. We, we put pieces around Daniel Jones this year. This is why I continue to say we're going to find out who the real Daniel Jones is this year. Hands down. We're going to find out who the real Daniel Jones is this year. We got the weapons around him. We got the pieces around him. Our offensive line, I know people are, oh, our offensive line is absolutely horrible. We have to spend our first three picks on offensive linemen. No, we don't, man. Our offensive line wasn't that bad last year. A lot of the stuff Daniel Jones was causing with his play as well. So, so let's get it twisted. Out of the 100% bad of our offensive line, Daniel Jones probably accumulated at least 35 to 45% of that. I'm going to just keep it real with you, uh, Big Blue. Daniel Jones has to get his pocket presence better. He has to become a better QB. If he becomes a better QB, we will destroy some teams this upcoming year. I promise you. Barring any health concerns, we will win the NFC East. I don't see anybody competing with us in the NFC East where we have to fear anybody. You're not supposed to fear anybody anyway. I believe it's going to be a, a, a very good division this upcoming year. It's going to be a battle between us, the Cowboys, and the, and the Redskins. I think everybody's going to beat up on the Eagles. Good for the Eagles. I can't stand the Eagles. But I believe we will win the NFC East this year. If Daniel Jones plays up. Even if he plays just as a good quarterback, he doesn't have to be great, just a good quarterback. We win the NFC East, folks. But the Cowboys are the Cowboys. They believe in all the hype. Just like we always talk about all the hype, they believe that they are, they are a team that have great personnel that just wasn't clicking, that just didn't have all the pieces on the football field together to pursue what they desire, which is the championship type of play. They have that this year. If they can stay healthy, this could be a really good team. And they should not fear the Giants, but they will respect the Giants. Yep, Greg, you convinced me. I was on the fence. I ain't gonna lie. I walked into this one. My prep says, yeah. Yeah, uh, whatever, Marcellus. <laughs> Still a good columnist, though. I like the guy. But they say this about the Cowboys every year. Cowboys are supposed to be in the Super Bowl every year. Cowboys, 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 Cowboys. I'm not worried about the Cowboys, man. Like Stephen A. Smith, man, they're going to find a way to mess up. They're going to find a way to be the Dallas Cowboys. 
I'm tired of hearing about the Dallas Cowboys every year. Oh, they, they, they can go to the Super Bowl. They can do this. They can do that. Do, 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 do. Jerry Jones, Cowboys, Cowboys. How about them Cowboys? No, man. It's going to be the Giants this year, man. As long as Daniel Jones shows up, I see us punishing our division. Honestly. That slash no down like hell, Doc. Nah. Ain't scared of these dudes. Scared what? The New York football Giants? The same team that haven't won the division since 2011? Ooh, come on now, okay? That is fact. The same team that hasn't won 10 games since 2016. I remind you of the records of the New York football Giants since then. 3 and 13, yuck. 5 and 11, yuck. 4 and 12, yuck. 6 and 10, yuck, yuck. Oh. And those records before the 6 and 10 record were all with coaches. We didn't have Joe Judge during those years. We didn't have Joe Judge during those years. I'm sorry. This is a different team now. Even though we won 6 and 10 last year, Dan Jones got hurt during the uh, end of the season, and we were in every game last year with nowhere near the roster talent that we have coming into this year. So let's see, Mr. Wiley. We'll, let's see if we make you eat your words this year. Oh, that is not scaring me. And more importantly, Ocho went out there and says a couple of the stats, but he forgot the most important stat, and we all play the game. What's the most important stat? Come on, say, without even knowing the score, you tell me this stat, I can tell you how the game went. Turnovers. Ooh, Daniel Jones, why is your name next to the guy? Oh, you are the guy. That has the most giveaways among quarterbacks over the last two seasons. You, you, Daniel. Daniel Jones, no, no, no. And you're going against these Dallas Cowboys who have their quarterback back and Dak bars. It's a problem. Dak wins this division. And let, let's let's be real, man. Dak gets a lot of his stats towards the fourth quarter when they're already beat down. When they're already down by like three touchdowns and he throws 200 yards in the fourth quarter. He gets a lot of garbage time stats, man. I'm not afraid of Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott. Do I believe he's a good quarterback? Yes, but I, I, I don't. I don't fear Dak Prescott, man. I really don't. I don't feel the cat fear the Cowboys at all. They always find a way to screw up. That's what they do. They haven't won anything since 1995, and they're gonna continue not to win anything. They're gonna continue to be America's team and be talked about all the doggone time, but never win anything. I don't see that changing this year. And who knows, is Dak Prescott going to be the same quarterback after coming off that gruesome injury that we gave him? We gave him that injury. Not to bragging on anybody getting hurt, but he got hurt playing us. So let's see what type of quarterback Dak, Pres Dak Prescott is after that gruesome injury. See if he comes back the same or better. And if Daniel Jones steps up, man, the league better look out, not just the NFC East. Dak destroys these teams in the NFC East. I remind you, since his rookie year, his record 16 and 3, including his rookie year, 19 and 6. That's called ownership over this division. He is back on the saddle, and yes, the Cowboys will win this division, not fearing the Giants. So the most important stat is actually wins and losses. Those in here talking to me about turnovers. I said other than wins and losses. And that's man. something the Giants did just as well, more importantly, depending on how you look at it as the Cowboys. But ranking-wise, they actually did better than the Cowboys. So if you're telling me that the Giants, what, the Giants were a better team than the Cowboys last year. What up? Hands down. Hands down, we were a better team. You can always bring up injuries, but I, I, don't, I tend not to bring up injuries because everybody gets injuries. So, we were a better team than you guys. Should have beat you twice last year. We know that. Without that, without that, which means the Cowboys, Cowboys, sure. which means the Cowboys are going to get better quarterback. But the Giants have to get better quarterback because I just told you their quarterback couldn't have gotten worse. So, the Giants won six games in spite of Daniel Jones. So what we're trying to say is the Cowboys said they were still one and three with that. Remember who had to Exactly. They were still they should have been on four. The only victory they got was with the Atlanta Falcons when they came back off an of onside kick when none of the Falcons grabbed the ball. That was their only win. And guess what? Garbage time Dak got most of his yards and touchdowns after being down by at least twenty points. They should have been on four with Dak Prescott last year. Let's not forget that. Cowboys to beat the Giants. What was it, week five of the season? Andy Dalton, who's no longer there because 
If I'm not mistaken, yes, right. the Cowboys weren't right. beating the Giants when Dak Prescott got hurt. Uh oh. If I'm not mistaken, oh, yeah. Dak Prescott Marcellus turned the ball over, which led to a Giants 14 to 3 lead. If I'm not mistaken, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Exactly. Killing them boys. But last I checked, this quarterback, the savior riding in on this white horse thing, Dak Prescott, who was already trailing to a Giants team, uh, is now supposed to come in and make the Cowboys who are worse than the Giants better than the Giants? I don't know your logic. Oh, really? You told me something yesterday. Is it like a logical fallacy? Yeah, I think you have several logical fallacies. Oh, it's like, it's like, get a break for me, please. <laughs> okay, I'm, I am, I am, because you're talking about Dak Prescott as if him being back, he doesn't elevate everyone else hey, around you. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to point it to you. Acho, when you're not on this show, is this still a good show? Yes. It's a good show. Is it the same show? Probably not because you're missing. You add value. The same can be said with Marcellus. So let's not act like you don't make this show better and Dak Prescott doesn't make the, his team better and everyone around him. Now, Marcellus will probably argue that he can carry the show. Well, they're getting towards the end of this. Uh, Greg Jennings makes the point that when Dak Prescott comes back, everybody's elevated. And I can agree to him to a certain extent. But let's, let, let, let's check out the facts, man. We were already beating them guys with Dak Prescott in the game. If it wasn't for that first game, the referees cheating us out of 21 points, at least 17 points, we would have punished the Cowboys that first game, and we beat them that second game. So I'm not worried about the Cowboys. I don't think anybody should fear anybody. But I will tell you this. If Daniel Jones plays as a good quarterback this upcoming year, we will win the NFC East by a landslide. By a landslide. I have that much faith in Joe Judge, what he bring, what program he brings to us. Patrick Graham, the, the defense that he works works with the players. I mean, we got, we got teachers, people. And if Daniel Jones plays up to the number six pick, he ain't got to be great. He ain't got to be Joe Montana. He ain't got to be Tom Brady. He ain't got to be none of them. He just has to be Daniel Jones, a good Daniel Jones. Make quick reads. Make the correct play. And don't turn over the ball. If he doesn't turn over the ball this year, we win the NFC East. Point blank, blank period. So, that's what I think about the subject. Should the Cowboys fear Daniel Jones in the NFC East and the Giants? If you want me to answer that, I say yes because we're already better than you, Cowboys fan. Sorry. I'm not trying to hear Cowboys, Super Bowl, and all that BS. You guys are Super Bowl contenders every year, and guess what? You come up short. You've been coming up short for over 20 years. We've been to three Super Bowls the last time you've been to one. So I'm not worried about you guys. But... That was my take, man. This has been Big Passports Talk Reacts. You know I'm going to talk my talk no matter what anybody thought. Care about what Greg Jennings or Marcellus Wiley say about my G-Man. Go Giants. Let's go Big Blue. Let's win the NFC East this year. And we out. Peace.